Good afternoon, and I am the angry cook. And um, today, no, we're not doing grilled cheese yet. I've got everything in the fridge. It's right there. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Today, we're doing um, garlic parmesan croutons for your salad. Um, I had a baguette, half a baguette, probably less than half a baguette left over um, from the other day. And uh, I stumbled on a recipe for croutons and didn't like that one. So I looked at several more, combined a couple, uh, and I did it. So you're going to get it too. Uh, however, take the same recipe, make it again, put a silicone mat in your uh, sheet pan, Forget about the bread, make little rounds of the Parmesan garlic in there and cook it till they're crisp. In the bottom of this sheet pan, after I got done with the croutons, were these little tiny bits of uh, Parmesan left over. Uh, and I'm here to tell you, I just about wet my pants. That's how good they were. So uh, anyway, for what that's worth. But that's what I'm going to be doing probably tomorrow or day after, whenever I get around to it. But uh, just take a, braid a whole damn uh, uh, wedge of Parmesan and make it, because why not? Anyway, garlic Parmesan croutons for you. Now, let's go. Okay, I am the angry cook. I think I just said that a bit ago, at least for you anyway. We're making croutons today, as I've already said. What we need, a bowl, a bowl, baking sheet, oven set to 300. We need four large cloves of garlic, and you'll, you'll see that in a second. Um, and half a cup of olive oil. Half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. Half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning half a teaspoon of paprika, three quarters of a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese divided in half a cup, a quarter cup, and you'll see why. Eight ounces of French baguette. Now, I don't have eight ounces. We use this one quite a bit. First thing you want to do is uh, infuse olive oil, half a cup of olive oil, with three or four cloves of garlic. These are really honking cloves of garlic, but uh, that's good. We really want a good garlicky taste to this oil to make our croutons. So, you're going to use... Oh, crap. You're going to use uh, your mincer, your uh, garlic crusher. Now, you do have one, don't you? I'm sure you do. You wouldn't disappoint me like that, would you? Crush your garlic cloves into the oil. don't have a garlic clove mincer, or uh, crusher, mincer, whatever the hell it's called, then uh, chop these up really, really fine. Really mince crap out of them. Because you want every bit of essence to come out of these and into your oil. Sit them two, three hours at least. And then you'll be uh, set to go on with the next part. So we'll see you in two or three hours. But to you it'll be right now. I've got about five ounces, so we're just going to use that. Ain't a big deal. We're going to cut it in half and let it sit for a day or so, so it's not really so moist, uh, so moist on the inside. You want to kind of dry out a little bit. Cut each half in half. Thank you. 
probably could have used a sharp knife instead of a serrated or what the hell. You're going to cut each half into about half inch pieces, give or take. Is right next to me naturally. So we got our uh, croutons. We need a sieve. Okay, take your garlic and olive oil that you've let sit about two or three hours. The longer the better. You want this really infused the garlic, and you can smell it. It's awesome. Pour it in. Every bit of olive oil out of the, that garlic that you can by pushing it through. Probably use a spoon would be the best thing for this since it's round. Let me get one of those. I'm going to use that later anyway. With a spoon, you can do that to it and really squeeze it. olive oil in a little bit. I have a little more than what necessary. This is uh, an eight ounce uh, recipe. A little more than I need, but that's all right. I'm not going to sweat that. What? All these little darlings covered with... God damn it. Jake. Don't send them on the floor like I just did. Unless you have jade or a jade duplicate. All right. We're putting our salt, our pepper, our salt, our paprika, or paprika, however you wish to pronounce it. Spread it around. Jade's enjoying the hell out of that, naturally. Italian seasoning, half a teaspoon again. And our half cup of breadcrumbs. And stir. Mix nicely. Get every bit of these things going here. You want the cheese on all the pieces. You want the herbs on all the pieces. That's why you find the ground the uh, parmesan, so it's those really little threads that like to go everywhere and won't clump much. But that one is right there. Okay. There. Another escapee, almost. Oh, that smells lovely. So a single layer of baking sheet, spread them out a little bit. Best you can. Don't be anal about it. Three hundred oven, fifteen minutes. See you back in 15. Oh, by the way, before we go back, thrift store shopping. Food saver, 25 bucks. I think they're about 150 or some nonsense. Yesterday, a large Dutch oven, 10 and a half inches by 8 quarts, $25. That's a deal. You'll be seeing this more often, I believe. See you in 15 minutes. All right, we're coming down to 15 minutes right now. Pull your 
pretty attached to me, Evan. And, uh, we're going to turn them. Get a little brown on one side, which is nice. Come on, you honorary bastard. Jane, of course, thinks she's going to get something because she's back again. Imagine that. I want to say hi to all the new people. Uh, the past two months have been awesome. Um, almost increased my subscription uh, percentage by 50%, which is great. Uh, thanks for coming aboard. And uh, if you see something you like, comment on it. If you want to see something that I haven't done or uh, you'd like to see me do, comment. And that goes for all of you. Um, don't be afraid to speak up. So anyway, we're going to turn these over and we'll cut a lot of this crap out. Because you don't need to see that. Then we're going to place this back in the oven for 15 minutes. And that's where we'll pick up again. See you in 15. Okay, we're 10 minutes in. Let's pull these little darlings out. That's dinner in the background. Um, balsamic pork loin with uh, garlic, rosemary, thyme, yada yada yada. Take all your little, uh, it's gonna be a salad, which these are going on too. Take all your croutons, crunch them up in the middle. Crunch them up. You get it? <laughs> you get that now? Crunch them up, he said. Christ. <clears throat> Now, remember that quarter a cup of a finely grated fresh Parmesan cheese we had? Sprinkle a little darling on. I said sprinkle. You little bastard. It's all clumped together. Parmesan does that when it's freshly grated. It likes to stick together. I'm sure there's a way around that. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure there is. Just get it all over there. As much as you can. Don't sweat the small stuff. You know that. We talk about that all the time. What you can't control, you can't control. Put these in. We're starting at, for another five minutes, start start looking at them. Um, as you can see, they're nice and toasty now. So all you want to do is the cheese to melt. So stick them back in. Check out them in five. And uh, we'll come back and see what the result is. All right, five minutes, let's take a look. Oh, shut up. Nope, another five. Cheese is melted yet. All right, we're at uh, 10 minutes in after the cheese. We're gonna pull it, we're done. I don't want my bread crumbs to get totally toasted out. We're going to let those dry. When they're dry, we'll put them in a container of some sort. I don't know what yet. So we do have some crusty little parmesan on the bottom, which we're going to eat. Of course. Duh. So, garlic parmesan croutons. Homemade. Very simple. Very fast. Takes very little of your time. I've been doing several other things while I've been waiting for these to cook, so no time wasted. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you again on the Angry Cook.